Yo, what is good, Death Squad? Today I'm going to be showing you the best blueprint run in the whole of Division 2. If you're like me and you're returning, or you're simply just lacking blueprints in the game, this is the fastest way that I've found for you to get blueprints. Yes, copy everything I do in this video, and uh, you should be getting blueprints fast, as well as leveling up your watch extremely fast. Ever since I've started doing this, I have tested it plenty as well, so you don't have to. Um, I've gone up about 50 levels in my watch, so yeah, check this out. What you want to start off by doing is heading over to the west end on the map to the safe house that is named the attic once you're here make sure you set your global settings to difficulty challenging once you're on challenging all the control points were sharp as level three that you can see now you can see that i've just done them this is the, the reason behind this is once you uh, start doing the control points you want to reset the control points after you've done them four apply it and it will send you back to this location straight back to the attic two one heading back so you respawn right back at the attic you'll head straight through and once you've headed straight through you will see on the map that all the control points around this area are now available again at tier three now you can do it at tier four so you can get actually two blueprints. However, you can only do this once a day where you can open the chest in the control point. If you open the chest in the control point, you get the blueprint for completing the control point, And you also get a blueprint for unlocking the chest in the safe room. So if you haven't done it already on Heroic, do all four on Heroic. You could do the whole map on Heroic if you wanted to. But this is the quickest run that I've found for you to just get the blueprints fast. Um, so yeah. As this is my route, I head down south to the Sleeping Giant control point to start off with. Once you're at this point in the Sleeping Giant, drop down, get as close as you can as possible to ignite one of the first enemies. Once you've done that, then call in nearby allies. Do it whichever way suits you best, but I'm going to show you where they spawn. So let's quickly get this going. We have no one in line of sight, so let's call in the allies. So the spawn locations are as followed here at the Sleeping Giant. This door downstairs. And then one floor directly up, there's another door. These will be the two spots where the enemies spawn. If you stay here, you'll be able to quickly kill them with ease and move forward. Okay, enemy detected. There you go. You see the leaders come through that door. He will either be in this door or the one below. Now clear the area, ready for the the, the counter attack. When the counter attack happens, it can, they can spawn in two places. They can either spawn down here in the tunnel uh, drain holes that you see over to the right or to the left. In this case, they're spawning over here. Or they could spawn upside. Oh, well. Yeah, on the upside, which is right out here. I'm going to show you just so you can see. I'm going to get myself hurt doing this. Or they could spawn just up there. In this case, they've spawned in the tunnel. Let me heal myself up. Okay, now let's clear the wave and move on to the next control point. Okay, as you can see, they're still spawning out the tunnel here. More coming out. Where's the leader at? Okay, great. Now, what I was explaining earlier where they could jump over the wall, they're actually doing that. So this is the other spot they can spawn in on the sleeping giant. Oh, the alert levels increased to level 4. What have I just done? Looks like a heroic on my next one. There you go. You see the sleeping giant is now complete. And we've got the black market M60E6 replica. So we've got a blueprint. Yet yeah, again, if you would have done this on heroic, then you would have got the safe room where you get the blueprint as well it's, i recommend you doing it with a friend because if you do go down uh, at least you can respawn on them or they can camp so you can keep respawning back so now we're going to be heading over to the riverside gas station follow me okay so i did turn this one into heroic so i'm actually going to be able to show you the two blueprints that i get on this let me fire off the flare i'm going to get the allies in nice and early because it's heroic we want to make sure that if we do go down we can respawn on them to get back I'm actually going to have to pull out the shield for this one. Well, who's hitting me? Wait, I'm stuck on someone. Someone's stuck in me. Wait, let me rephrase that. Okay, spawn locations. You want to try and clear them off outside here. The reason being is because you want to get inside the petrol station. As their respawn point is inside just here on this door. And if you can uh, ignite one of the, the grenade pouches on their legs like so... This will be very easy. That as soon as they come through, they'll be burning. There you go. They come through, burn. You can ignite the other packs that the other people have got. And just rinse and repeat this door. And you've basically got them spawn trapped. Makes it nice and easy for you. Not so bad for Roe, okay, guys? Just make sure you keep them spawn trapped. Otherwise, it does get really hard real quick. My targeted loot today is SMGs in the area. 
That's, that's another thing where you can grind. You can grind your blueprints and your targeted loot all at the same time. So use it to your advantage. And make sure I get more ammo. Clear the last enemies outside. And then we'll be ready for the counter attack. Okay, so spawn points around the back of the uh, oval building. Or they'll either respawn up there at the fences in the distance. Hopefully we get both spawn points on this so I can show you both. No, we're getting the same, same spawn point. This should make it nice and easy for me. However, it's not going to be able to show you where they are. Great thing about doing this territory as well is you get a lot of uh, suiciders. And you can kill them rather quick by just shooting the detonation on their chest. Like so. Leader detected. Oh, they're all spawning in the same location. Pull the shot out. Set them on fire. And the guy next to him. Make it a little bit easier for myself. I've set myself on fire. <laughs> oh dear. So guys, the build that I'm currently using, hang fire, I will be showing it. However, like I said, I'm new back to the game. This build is going to absolute dominate in PvE and PvP. But it's not quite there yet. Once it is there, boy, you guys are going to love it. So as you can see, I've just got a blueprint. Now, because I don't on Heroic, you want to head upstairs like so. Or wherever the supply room may be, depending on what uh, checkpoint or control point you're doing. Head, head into the supply room. And when you open the supply cache, you will have at the bottom another blueprint that you don't already have. So lovely. Moving on. So we're now heading to New Venice. Let's go. Make sure you pick up all them resources on the way so you can upgrade. New Venice control point. Here we are. Let me show you the best route. Kill up the first lot of people. You want to call your flares here now. Quickly take this guy out and you want to try and get upstairs as soon as possible. Here we go. So unfortunately, we've ignited him a bit too close. Because I need to kill them as they come out this window. They spawn out this window every time. So you want to try and trap them here. You will have a couple people shooting you in the back. It doesn't really matter. They're not really going to do too much. As you can see, being only a level 3 control point, we get a lot of very easy enemies to kill. Now the next location you want to head to for the counter attack is they're going to drop either down there or come from the door behind that crate. Let's head over there. Okay, they're coming through the door. See, perfect. I get to play both places that they come from. Probably going to come from back up top now. Yeah, what I do is I just pull out my grenade launcher. And when they land, I blitz them. Oh, one escaped past us. How did you get over there? Here we go. New Venice is done. Yet again, if you were to do it on the hardest difficulty, you would have got two blueprints. The quickest way is just doing it on uh, tier three and just flying through them as quick as possible to get... Just one blueprint each time because you can do two level threes quicker than you could do one level four, in my opinion. Next one we go to is Overgrowth. Let's head there. Now we're at Overgrowth. Let's head in, follow me to the exact same spots that I go to. So this is very easy on the attack to trap them on this one, but very hard on the defense to get them trapped. Doesn't matter though, still nice and easy because it's only level three. So they keep spawning on the inside of the building down here on this door. Yet again, try and ignite one of their pouches. So everyone that comes through is already burning. It gives you that. Then a few seconds so you can take them all out. A lot of them are not even going to make it through the door. There we go. That's the attack complete. Now we have to worry about the defense. So defense can be complicated because they can come from multiple locations. So yet yeah, majority of people will head down here. And then it's a very easy kill because you can just kill them as they're running down this lane. But sometimes they can also respawn very far up there on the door to the right. Just where that blue bin is, there's a doorway there. So they could spawn there or they could spawn where they are right now. Hopefully they spawn in both locations so I can give you an example. Leader neutralized. That's it for this. We need to just uh, kill the remaining enemies. Might as well head down here and kill this guy and get some extra loot as it's SMG in the area. And I'm trying to get a 9mm vector for that high magazine damage out of uh, cover field. So there we have it, guys. We've got the oversized 45 ACP mag. That's the one mag I've been looking for until I get the vector. So there we go, guys. That's all four blueprints. In just under 10 minutes, you can actually get... 
eight blueprints in under 10 minutes, depending on how quick you are, you and your team. But if you do like the blueprints, you like this, make sure you check out my channel. I'm going to be bringing loads of videos. Let me know what you want me to do next and what you need information or tips on, as well as builds. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.